All right, folks, so I got in my hand a very cool moth. This is the giant sphinx, Cochidius anteus. It is the largest moth wingspan of any moth in North America. And wingspan can go, I, I think they're up to 10, 11 inches, some of the bigger females. This is actually a small female. Um, now, I've found these in the Florida Keys before, males, not very commonly, but I've never seen a female in the Florida Keys. And the last time I saw a female of these period when I was about 15 years old. So um, like one of them was literally during a soccer game when I was like 12, I think 12 or 13 years old. I actually ran off the field to go catch the moth. It was more exciting than the game I was playing. Uh, coach wasn't very happy, but um, I still have a specimen in my collection, by the way. It's the only female uh, giant sphinx I've ever seen. So um, anyway, now I'm 45, getting old, and I'm finally seeing uh, a, giant, a female giant sphinx. Now, they feed on pond apple, which is, a, is known as a freshwater plant. Um, not sure where the pond apple lives in, in Big Pine. This is a very salty area, um, high salinity. We've had two hurricanes over the last couple of years. Uh, well, Irma was in 2017 completely tied you know the storm surge completely covered the island and um that the i think last year was ian that passed underneath the keys but left a lot of storm surge as well so um that from my understanding there's a lot of salt deposits that have been left by these big big storms that have come over in the last few years and a lot of the ecosystem down here in the florida keys the lower keys is, is suffering because of it. Uh, so it's cool to see this gigantic moth here in the lower keys. Um, haven't seen a whole lot of uh, different you know, diversity on this trip, to be honest with you. Um, it's a little disappointing. We're heading up to Key Largo today. Um, we're gonna try our luck up in Key Largo. And, um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna just enjoy this gigantic female uh, moth that feeds on anona species so the anona that down here is pond apple pond apple is a very common plant in the in the everglades like along canal banks and the freshwater canals uh south florida you know it's, it's everywhere where there's canals and out in the everglades and that's why these guys live out in the everglades um so i'd be curious to see where the pond apple is in the lower keys and big pine area uh but nonetheless giant sphinx is here uh Sorry, there's a lot of no see buzz buzzing my face. Um, I'm going to try and show you guys some images of this girl. Hold on a second. Okay, so a couple things about the giant sphinx. Her proboscis is around 11 inches long. 11 inch proboscis, guys. And you can see it curled up there in front of her face. Uh, it is theorized that the, the proboscis of the giant sphinx, it get, serves it as a, it, it's actually a symbiotic relationship with this species with the ghost orchid of the Florida Everglades. I mean, I mean that's kind of a uh, romanticized concept of, of a symbiotic relationship because this thing lives in a lot of different places um, where the ghost orchid does not live, but it's been known to take nectar from the ghost orchid pretty cool that this thing has such a long proboscis um I've, I've seen them nectar taking nectar from orchid trees and also from angel's trumpet which has an extremely deep throated flower uh, and they're able to get all the way down to the bottom of that thing so a couple other things the hind wing is actually translucent so you can actually see through it a little bit it's got that yellow spot there on the hind wing Four wing is just kind of mottled gray with little streaks in it. And then of course the abdomen's got three pairs of his uh, big yellow spots. So um, I'm super excited to be able to see my first female giant sphinx that I've seen in a very, very long time. And so uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video summarizing this incredible beauty. Uh, look at that abdomen full of eggs. Go lay some eggs, girl. In fact, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put her on a tree, take some pictures, and then let her be. So, all right guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, 
Don't forget to subscribe. Look at this girl. Um, we, de we very much appreciate your support uh, in the Keys Moz channel. Uh, liking, subscribing, commenting on our videos. It helps us out tremendously. So, um, guys, take care. Let's get out there and check out some cool bugs, even giant ones like the giant sphinx. Bye now.